I've been seeing a lot of comments about people trying to figure out how you can create your own mobile app like the ones that we show you right here on App Find. Now, especially with iOS 11 coming out, creating a mobile app can be a lot of fun and also potentially pretty lucrative. So it's definitely a great skill to learn. Now, I'm not actually the best person to teach you because I'm learning myself, but I can show you the tools that I'm using and you can take a look at those if you'd like. So I'm actually using a course or a couple of courses on Udemy to learn how to code mobile apps. Now here's the link that you can go to, uh, and actually this gives you a discount. So if you go to bit.ly, B-I-T to L-Y, slash code, I-O-S 11, just like that, bit.ly, B-I-T to L-Y, slash C-O-D-E, I-O-S 11. Now you can go this in mobile or on your desktop. We'll also put the link here and in the description. And this will actually bring you to a few different courses on Udemy that teach you how to code in iOS 11, there's how to create mobile apps, uh, different trending courses for mobile apps. Now, the ones that I'm taking right now are iOS 11 and Swift 4 from beginner to paid professional, and the complete iOS 11 and Swift developer course where they actually teach you how to build 20 apps. Now, these are really awesome courses, and uh, let's actually take a quick look at both of them. So the first course I started to take was this one, iOS 11 and Swift 4 uh, from beginner to paid professional. It's taught by Mark Price. He really dives into how all of this works. There's over 43 hours of content, um, so I'm not quite finished yet, um, but it is a really good course. We scroll through here, it shows you how to build the apps. It covers a lot of the theory on how the code works, but also actual practical examples and things that you can code yourself. Now, if we take a look at the course, um, you can see that it's really hands-on. So he's actually gonna show you inside of Swift and Xcode uh, and actually how to code these apps uh, yourself. So it not just covers you know, the coding part, but also a lot of the design elements as well. So there's really a lot that goes into this. And the best part is, because it covers iOS 11, that means that it's really modern and up to date. So I've found a lot of information and I'm well on my way to coding some of my first few applications. That's the first one that I found, iOS 11 and Swift 4 from beginner to paid professional. They're both on the same page. Let's take a look at the other one. So this is the other course that I'm taking, which is the complete iOS 11 Swift developer course. It has 20 apps where they actually show you how to build 20 different apps over the course of this course. Now the really cool thing is that this actually dives into learning by doing. So you can start building these right off the bat. If we take a look here, you can see they really dive into uh, Xcode and Swift and show you exactly how to build everything very easily. So they actually walk you through step by step how to build these apps all the way from scratch to finish. So there's 20 different apps you build over the course of uh, this entire course that they have lined out here. My recommendation is actually to get both of these courses. That way you get the more theoretical coding basis and you get the hands-on experience. But if you have to choose one or the other, then I'd recommend taking a look at the courses, seeing which one speaks to you, how you learn. Um, you might learn a little bit more by doing, then I'd recommend the, um, the course where you build 20 apps, or you might learn a little bit more by actually getting a kind of foundation, more of a classroom kind of feel. Uh, and that one you might wanna go from beginner to paid professional. Either way, I recommend both of these courses, learning a lot and learning how to code iOS 11. Now, you can go to the link bit.ly slash code iOS 11 should be right here on the screen and in the description. I've made sure that the link actually includes the promo code um, that's gonna give you a big discount when you first buy. Now, these courses are usually $200, but right now, they're marked down to $10. I don't know what the deal will be when you go to it, but I'll keep updating this link to make sure that it's the best deal you can get right now. So you don't have to worry about uh, figuring out how all, how all the codes work or whatever. I'll make sure it's automatically applied for you with that link so that you can get the best deal possible. There's also a lot of great other courses here on Udemy. I'm actually taking one right now where you learn how to be a human lie detector and tell if somebody's lying. There's ones on business, there's ones on video editing, uh, video production, all kinds of great courses. But these are the ones that I recommend. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on how you can build apps like the ones we show you here in App Find. Uh, so I wanted to answer this for all of you, show you what I'm doing to learn. It's a valuable skill and show you how you can learn as well.
All right, if you guys learned something today, be sure to like the video. Uh, you can, of course, go to the link in the description and on the screen. There should also be a little annotation as well uh, to go directly to this course page. You can see which one works for you. Go ahead and purchase the course. I'll make sure it's updated with the best discount uh, at that time that you can see. Uh, also, let me know if you guys are actually building an app in the comments below. I'd love to take a look, especially if you're a part of the AppFind community and you post your own app. Let me know, and maybe you'll even be on one of the AppFind episodes. You never know. All right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more great content. All right, bye.